YouTube fam. Welcome to Cherry's Hoss and More Vibes. Well, this is going to be, what I'm going to be doing today is a Dollar Tree review empties. I have a few items, not a lot, but I have a few items. And how are you doing today? I hope you're doing fine. Okay. With all that being said, let's get started. Until I started doing these review empties video, I didn't realize how much trash that I collect per month or per, just in general. I did not know that I had that much trash. I really didn't because it, it accumulates so fast. I know with my, the one, the Cherry's Dollar Tree review empties where I, Combine different stores like Target, Walmart, Timu, Amazon, whoever, Kroger. Those I can like the most. So I was thinking I wouldn't have to do this, but two to maybe four times a month. But that one I may have to do like two to six times a month. Until I do so many items, some items that I show quite frequently, I may not show them. I may just link the video or something. So that's how I have to do it. But as far as Dollar Tree, I can do maybe two to four times a month. A month. If I'm saying a week, I may a month do the videos for the review empties. But anyway, let's get started on it. Okay. Food. And I only have one item. Food and drinks. And that'll be this Dunkin' iced coffee, rich chocolatey, chocolate. It says chocolate tea. Mocha. It's right here. Back in. This, you know, I like this a lot. This is really good to me. So, this is a yes. And it is yes, I will repurchase it. No, I will not repurchase it. Or maybe. And this one is a yes. I will repurchase this. Because I like this. This tastes good. And it's three dollars. If it costs more, because since I'm doing Dollar Tree, if it costs more than a dollar twenty-five, I'm trying to mention the price. That that's that's three dollars. Okay, and this big value tissue. Yes, I would repurchase this. We have one hundred and seventy-five in here. I like it box looks like that you know they have different designs i guess so that's a yes okay this little this thing fell off and what was in here it says egg container it was this this little egg container right here i mean i probably wouldn't it probably be a no as far as repurchasing is because I'm already purchasing it. It is for my grandson's little Easter thing. He going on the Easter egg hunt tomorrow on Saturday. Today is Friday. He going on the Easter egg hunt on Saturday and you know Sunday. Um, I'm not sure if she taking him to an Easter egg hunt on Sunday or not. But we going to one on. I'm going with her. We're going to one on Saturday. But anyway, I just put a little can in there. He got a. My daughter said he liked Kit Kat, so he got a whole Kit Kat in there, and he got a few little bunny Reese's in the little egg, and that's all I put in the egg. The little egg basketball, basketball egg, that is cute. So since I'm purchasing this now, most likely I will repurchase it because I like to get something different for next Easter. I get him something different. That's but also I got the basket. Let me show you all the basket since I'm since I'm on that subject, I'll just go ahead and show you the basket. Here's the little basket. And I got some little goodies in here for him. I'm gonna actually give this to him on Saturday because I'll see my I know I'll definitely see my daughter on Saturday. And as far as um I think they're gonna, you know, have something for him too. So this just from, this from grandma. He calls me grandma because he been calling me grandma. But I wanna, I was just thinking, and I have to tell them all. 
any grandchildren after him, call me Glam Ma, please. <laughs> but since he already called me Grandma, I'm Grandma to him. He don't want to call me Grandma. <laughs> but anyway, look. It's cute. So I'll just have like um post this and this come for Dollar Tree as well, the basket. So most likely I won't buy it again because you know I'm doing this for him this Easter. So that'll be a no for both of these. But I don't see anything wrong with them. Now this is very small though, but you know, this is for my grandson. I'm quite sure they're doing something for him. So you know, I didn't want to I you know, I thought this would be a good you know, good size for him. So this was a dollar and twenty five, and this was a dollar and twenty five. So hopefully he liked those. And like I said, at the end of the video, I'll just show you some of the items I got him for Easter, and I got him also this this towel right here. And some of the items come from Target, but the basketball and the basket. That I just showed you the egg basketball. They came from Dollar Tree. Okay, enough spent on that. Let's move on. Okay, y'all. Uh, I purchased this chocolatey. Is it chocolatey? It says chocolate. It's a exfoliating and brightening chocolate face mask. Chocolate plus strawberry. It says vegan and cruelty free, and it's by Bio Miracle. Just like that. I think I did a short on this or something. Maybe. I'm not sure. Y'all, uh, I really don't know. But anyway, this, I, it was, this will be a maybe, actually. Because I thought it was going to, I thought this was, I was really excited about this. Because I thought it was going to be really smell like chocolatey, but it doesn't and strawberry you can it's faint the fragrance in it is faint as far as the chocolate and the strawberry maybe that's better for your skin but i was just thinking it gonna be more chocolatey and it was not so that's a maybe maybe i repurchase it maybe not and this was a dollar and 25 cent okay this right here is a bolero product it's a nourishing body butter is vanilla bean and honey actually i think in a previous i'm not sure which one but a previous dollar tree review empties i show the shower the body wash and i said i would repurchase it and this is actually the body butter in which i would repurchase as well just a yes and it's, it have a very subtle scent, just like the body wash. So it's not anything strong. So it is, it's good to go with your other fragrances that you may wear, such as, you know, your perfume or body mist, body sprays and other items. So, but yes, I repurchased that. Okay, this is another. Okay, now... Uh, I just had the only that one food drink item, you know, as far as the drink. And I'm doing, like, um, actually, this this could go into health and beauty. I'm doing, like, the health and beauty, the personal care. I'm talking about the tissue. It could be included with them. I'm doing, like, the health. I'm, I'm trying to put it in categories, you know, to make it easier. But anyway, and I think the rest of them... The, well, the majority of them are like personal care. So this is the Bolero, and this is the watermelon and mint. It says refreshing, or infused moisturizing body wash, sixteen fluid ounces. This, I no, I wouldn't repurchase it. The fragrance to me is, mm, I don't too much care for it. But it is okay, or you may like it, but as for me, I don't too much care for it. It smells like, sort of like a artificial, to me it don't really smell like watermelon, but some type of, um, maybe fruit, it's 
fruit scent um artificial fruit scent and then the mint part i'm guessing it's the mint part i don't like the mint part i think it smells kind of like you may not know what i'm talking about though but some of the older generation may it kind of smell like um what they call mothballs i don't know i just smell that mothball i remember my grandmother um one of my grandmothers she used to have mothballs and that's what i mean part of the fragrance first i smell like the fruity scent and then it seemed like some kind of other scent are coming i'm like what is that and it just i mm -mm, i didn't like this so i didn't too much care for it but the fruity part smelled pretty good even though it smelled a little artificial but that I believe it's the mint. That's the only thing I can think of. It could be to smell like the mothballs. But uh, in my opinion, <laughs> if you purchased it, you may have a totally different um, opinion about it. But that's just my opinion. And I have smelled mothballs before. And that's what it reminded me of. I'm like, mm, no. So I wouldn't repurchase the watermelon and mint. Love your lips, lips, it says, beauty intuition. It's replenishing and hydrating. It's lip gloss. That's the packaging, it looks like that. Beauty intuition. Oh. Sometimes you guys, I don't know if I'm showing you the thing the right way. I be thinking it's the right way and sometimes it'd be upside down. But. As far as this, I, yes, I would repurchase it, but it's a very light color. And for my skin tone, it's really light, but I still would purchase it because what I have to do is just uh, use like a lip liner. I have to line my lips. I think, I don't think this will look as good on me if I don't line my lips, but let me show you how I brought it. Here it is, the color lip gloss it's really light to me i just say lavender or something or light pink or something color and so for a person with a darker skin tone as mine it you know to me it's just too light unless you line you know use some other colors some people mix their lipsticks and sometimes i do that mix my lipstick or use a liner because let me show you how it looks exactly okay but so would I repurchase it? Yes, I would. You know, I like it. Pretty packaging. You can see that gold right there. Looks like that. I'm just going to put a little on. I have some on now, but it probably pretty much came off. I know y'all saying no, uh-uh. Because <laughs> me looking at it while I was applying, I'm like, uh-uh, no, girl, that ain't for you. See how white it looks on my lips? Like my lips ashy or something. <laughs> but I would purchase this because I just like it. But I may need to put on some more... Or maybe I put on too much. I may need to put on some of the lip liner. And I can wear pretty much any color lip liner. This one is brown, but I can use like a burgundy or, you know, a darker pink or something like that. Darker purple. So usually, of course, I line my lips first and then put the lipstick on. But I'm kind of doing it backwards this time. So a little liner, a little lip gloss may get on my liner. And it may not apply as well, which is not doing. Okay. Y'all, don't come for me. Say, uh-uh. No, lady. Don't wear that. <laughs> but, uh, yes, I, I repurchase it because I like it. You know, I just like it. So, yeah. Okay, moving on. I have another Bolero product. Actually, it's the 
same as this. It's the body butter. And so this is the Valero Nourishing Body Scrub, Vanilla Bean and Honey. And yes, I repurchased it, but I showed one of these and it was a different fragrance. I believe it was the one with the coconut and coconut and something else mixed with it. And I would, uh, I think it was, was it coconut and lavender? I'm not sure what was mixed with it, but something else was. So, but I will repurchase this. Yes, on this. Yes, on this. And they, all of these things I'm showing you so far, these are $1.25. But the only thing is the packaging. I did mention on the other one, the other time I showed this, the body scroll, it's the packaging. I mean, I ain't, I'm not saying it's, it's a pretty packaging, but it's difficult to get the product out when it start getting really low it's hard to get it out and so that's the issue i have with this i think they should as far as the body scroll maybe they should put it in a different type of packaging because it's very difficult even if you take the top off like you know this take the top off it still be hard for it to come out or that little hole so yeah, but I would repurchase it, even, you know, would it be in a dollar and 25? Huh. Uh, just don't like, you know, how the packaging works, but I like the way the packaging looks. So this is yes. All right, we have this Himalayan pink salt. It's naturally rich, and it says in over 80 minerals. Wow, I didn't even read that. I'm just not reading that part. <laughs> it says for a radiant looking skin okay this is and the brand is health and beauty collection and it's non-gmo and it's a it says a hundred percent mineral salts natural mineral salts it says all that so i'm assuming it's supposed to be kind of healthy or something and here this is the way it looks in the back And it was a dollar twenty five cent, but this a maybe, and I was okay. But the issue I had with this is that it didn't dissolve like the bath salts when you put it in the water. It didn't really dissolve. It's like I kind of had to just really swish it around, try to get it dissolved. Like even if you put, you know, you put it in, because I usually kind of put mine in there while my water running sometimes, so it can you know, start dissolving. It, it didn't dissolve. It's still at the bottom of the tub. So, but I still may purchase this. So this will maybe. And other than that, I didn't have any issue with it. Okay, this is the DT Salad Hansen Nail Polish. Oh, I just rolled on the back so I can know what it was. DT Dollar Tree, of course. And cause you, I know you just seen this plain package, but I, I rolled on the back. See, and this the color. Actually, I meant to bring it. I didn't bring that. Let me go get it for y'all. Actually, I, I have it right here, so it's not going to take but a moment. Okay, my little nail bag. It's, it's very heavy now. And all of my nail products are not in here. They won't fit. It's, it's too much. Um, let's see. This is. Is that Sally Hansen? Yes, it is. This is. That's the color right here. See that color? Sample. Beautiful. Oh, that's a gorgeous color. I love it. For spring, summer, that is cute. Tell me that's not a cute pink. That is a cute pink. I guess it's pink. I'm just saying pink. Here's what the color is. It's number 881. I don't have my glass. So I can't see it really good. But I'm just going to put it up there so you all can see it. Can you see that? It's not coming in clear. I don't know what it say, but and it says neon and it's like a gel. It says Sally Hansen uh, neon gel. 
beautiful, beautiful color. But yes, I like this a lot and I will repurchase it, yes. I did use it once. So, and I'm throwing this away. Okay. That is all of the health, beauty, personal care type products that I have. And last item I have is this in wash fragrant booster, you know, from Dollar Tree, Dollar Twenty Five. Everything so far I'm showing Dollar Twenty Five. Only thing, I think the only thing that was more was that drink, that Dunkin' uh, Mocha. That's the only thing I think was more than a dollar and twenty five. Yes. So about this. Yes, I'll I'll uh repurchase this. This one this one is a yes. I like it, the booster, but I like when they have those bigger ones, like the ones in the blue container, the bigger ones. I like those better, but because these are smaller, so you get more for your money with the bigger one. But I would repurchase this one. Yes. It smells good, very good fragrance. It says it have a fresh scent and I agree, so. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for walk. I'm about to say walking, it's crazy. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you all. And I hope you have a happy Easter. Yes, whatever you're doing or if you're not doing anything, I just hope you have a happy Easter weekend. All right, until the next time, I did say please like and subscribe and thank you for the ones who, who have subscribed and then please, please subscribe. If you like the content so far, you can look at some of my older videos and check me out. You know, I'm real. I'm, I'm a person that's just real. You know, I like real people. Actually, when I'm looking at other people's videos, I like somebody like this. You know, I don't like fake and phony. I mean, it's just, just really that person. Just, you know, I can be, I'm goofy. I can silly, just, um, whatever. <laughs> but anyway, thank y'all for watching. And until next time. Thank you for everything that you do. Until next time, bye now.